here we are with the dangers of back blast ballistic high speed it's my first time watching the channel and uh, <laughs> it's my first time watching the channel and from what i understand it went pretty badly so mm -hmm. let's watch this to get context so we can watch the other video about well everything that happened in an educational style yay take two this is an rpg7 and this is a carl gustav m2 these are rocket launchers and they fire high explosive rockets. Well, this one's not. This one's inert so that we can safely handle it for demonstration purposes, but we are firing precision machined metal bodied high explosive RPG rounds. The real deal. Mm -hmm. Real deal. Yep, we're gonna be looking at the entire launch procedure, how that works. We're gonna look at the back blast. I hear that's pretty darn dangerous. It is indeed. Just the overall experience of firing a real rocket launcher, you know, before we get into blowing stuff up. Naturally. <laughs> <laughs> Before we get into blowing stuff up, it's funny because of video games, I've never really been into rocket launchers because they're very excessive and you don't have a lot of ammunition for them, so they're not really fun. <laughs> oh. So, welcome back to Ballistic High Speed. Damn, what an explosive intro. I like it. Well, today on Ballistic High Speed, we will be bringing to you the Carl Gustav M2 in beautiful slow motion activity. This was brought out by the gentleman to my right. This is Todd Kern. Todd, what's going on here? I'm Todd with PA2A. Uh, today we have the Carl Gustav M2 recoilless rifle. What? Can I just say the weather looks really nice? <laughs> I'm here co being cooked and dying and I'm like, oh man, that, that would be really nice to be out there. It's refreshing. <laughs> Oh. Makes this thing pretty cool is this is a breech loading rifle. Damn. Takes an 84 millimeter cartridge. We have some prototype rounds with us today. Eventually we're going to have some. That uh, thing's huge. Yes, yes, that's what she said. explosive rounds available for this thing. What differentiates this from something like a, a more well-known launcher like the RPG-7 or the M72 Law is that this is a recoilless rifle and not a, a rocket launcher. Recoilless rifle meaning propellant is behind the projectile, not inside of it, like in the, the PG-7 rockets or the M72 law rounds. That seemed like a That's pretty famous load there. That was the whole load. That was the whole thing, there. yep. And before everybody freaks out, we are gonna have high explosive RPGs next. Well, Todd, thanks for coming out. Let's load up some rounds and let's see what this looks like in high speed. Let's do it. All right, Todd, load it up. Huh. Back blast clear. Back blast is clear. Firing the Carl Gustav in three, two, one. Damn. Whoa! That little delay threw me off. Fascinating. Especially watching it in slow mo. Correction, especially watching it in very slow-mo with high FPS. Damn! <laughs> like, it was cool in slow-mo. This is just badass. Future finalists HE rockets will fire as part of the normal recoilless experience. And this is at 30k FPS. I'm not gonna lie, this is really cool. I didn't expect the, the heat to dissipate like that. That's pretty big radius. Alrighty, we're gonna do this uh, RPG-7. We have, while it is an all metal, this one is inert, but have no fear. High explosive rockets are coming soon. <laughs> like, I have no fear. This is the second time he mentions it in a minute. It's like, how impatient are people who watch these videos, man? Oh. All right, Todd, load me up. This one looks kind Back of blast funny. Clear. Back blast is clear. All right, firing the RPG-7. Three, two, one. 
Now, the question is, why does the person sit next to him as he's firing like that? Like, what is the purpose of that? Is it because it's safest to be next to him? Safest area? Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, that's what I'm asking, like, I'm trying to understand because I'm wondering, how about their equipment? I guess their equipment, they don't particularly care about that. To clear the back blast, I think, to make sure no one's behind him. Mm. You always have a gunner and an assistant gunner. Interesting. I never knew that. <laughs> Damn. That one's a lot more Holy oomphy. Smokes. I mean, that's a huge boom, but I, I like, felt it just... almost nothing. That's recoilless for you. That's me. I guess the back blast is the thing that is like... That's a lot stronger on this one. Looking at it from this perspective, it's almost like seeing a rocket launch. <laughs> it's like, damn. It's kind of, these type of details is not like something you really see that much when you play video games, which is kind of sad. <laughs> wow. That's intense. First time you ever done that? Yeah. You got to shoot this. I get to shoot it? You got to shoot this. All right, cool. Yeah. Back blast clear. Ready on high speed? High speed's ready. Yeah. Yeah, like this is what I mean, right? There's another person that's filming and is on the side. So that's like, I'm curious about this. It's kind of like, it's the safest area, but doesn't that mean, shouldn't like the person filming also be there? <laughs> like, oh. Uh, firing the RPG-7 in three, two, one. <laughs> Hell yeah. Woo, triggered. Honestly, that really is recoilless. Like, damn. However, look at the blast and how it affected him. I would take that he's less used to it, because he got moved a tiny bit. for booster launch 10 milliseconds one's ex-military the other is mm -hmm. All right, so Todd is actually the one developing all of these kind of prototype rounds that are going to move into high explosive he can't wait to shoot it. He was nice enough to let me take the first shot. I believe I'm the first like civilian to shoot one. To my knowledge. Okay, appreciate that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have him kneel down and we're gonna see what backblast would do if somebody accidentally had their hand over the Damn. backblast area. We know it's dangerous, we just saw it go, but what does it look like on an analog? So Todd's gonna do the honors so he gets to shoot it and we get our answers because we like science. High speed ready. Okay. Firing in three, two, one. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Where did the hand go? <laughs> Here, look, the hand is gone. Oh, that was so good. Where did it go? I saw. <laughs> Can you imagine you're on the field and someone gets caught in the blast and you're like, Hey, dude, where'd your hand go? <laughs> oh, man. Oh, something go whipping down here. God damn. Right here. That was so damn funny. Oh, oh no. no. Oh yeah. There's oh, that's gonna hurt. Damn. Total separate. I'm Bit late to say I think it's the tripod camera instead of camera. Uh, you could hear the guy talking behind the camera, Santa. Also, a lot of cameras don't move. They have stabili um, stability stuff. It could also still be on a tripod and the person being next to the camera, right? I mean, that... that it's gotta be like third degree burns, right? Fingers coming out of the skin. Are we worried about the burn levels to the fact that the hand literally got disconnected from the wrist? <laughs> Can you give me a hand in finding it? Oh my God, guys. Even I didn't go for that pun.
Oh, uh, I get like they're doing it for an educational purpose of like the the burn level, right? <laughs> but I'm like, yeah, I think that hand has a bit more pressing matters to attend to. Yeah, it's almost degloved. That's nuts. And Jesus. I think it stands to reason that if you as a human had your hand there, it wouldn't just leave so easily. So it may even oh, yeah. be worse because it would have to push more out of the way. That's insane. Wow, that's gonna be hopefully some wicked high speed. I wonder if we'll even see it through the smoke. I don't know. But thanks to Ballistic Dummy Lab. Yeah, it's always way better when you can actually oh, see absolutely. what's going on. <laughs> you can kind of see it. Damn, they had it taped off so much and still. That back blast though. Yeah, if it's torn off, usually you can reattach it, but it's still rough and your nerves are like, oof. I don't even want to think about that one. Very toasty. That is a lot of footage that they get on it. Oh man, so bright. So, so bright. <laughs> okay, I think we all saw this one coming. We've seen the Carl Gustav back blast. So now we're gonna do the RPG-7. And in, instead of a hand, we have a head. I do wanna notate he does have one cut because he's been used once already. Other than that, he's good to go. No cracks. My guess up. is we're not even gonna notice. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> All right, Todd. All right. <laughs> I'll be honest and be like, oh yes, the, the, the cut on the nose is what's gonna bother us on the melted face. He's been used. Wow. When you put it like that, chat. When you put it like that. All right, caution. We got a caution right here. The next clip contains blurred footage of a misfire accident. Some audio remains. Viewer discretion is advised. So this is when we had a rocket launcher incident, okay? So be warned, do not watch in case you are sensitive. Sure. Cameras are rolling on you. All right, this is the RPG-7 versus Ballistic Dummy Head. Three, two, one. Oh, Jesus Christ, man. Call 911. Call 911. What's, what's bleeding? It's his face. On November 14th at 3 p.m., Adam shit. experienced a catastrophic failure during an RPG launch, and that hospitalized him. It was pretty bad. He is it okay. looked pretty he bad, is recovering. honestly. recovering. Right now, as I'm speaking to you, it's probably going to be a very long recovery. I wanted to reach out to you guys with his permission, of course, to let you all know that this has happened, but life and limb is intact and that's the important part. Hopefully all of you will keep him in your thoughts and he's expected yeah. to make a full recovery. It's just gonna be a long recovery. <laughs> in short, he had third degree burns, broken bones, lacerations on his face and other areas and yeah. Later discussion for a later time. Um, as far as I can tell, Adam does want to come back on the channel. He wants the channel to continue, and we will likely talk with all of you about the entire thing, what happened, why it may have happened, what can mm -hmm. we learn from it. It's just one of those things where no matter it's gonna take time. how much you pay attention to safety, how much effort you put into preparing things, there's always the inherent risk of something going wrong, and that was one of those times. Adam's been made fun of before for how much he pays attention to safety on other videos. And Damn, people actually make fun of someone for being careful. And that so I've never questioned him on that. I've always respected his effort in paying attention to safety. That's crazy. And he's always been willing to take that risk on this channel. Anytime he's ever fired a gun, anytime he's ever worked with explosives, he's always been willing to take that risk alongside me to 
bring you guys this mm. channel, bring you guys content. Yeah, I mean, you can never be too careful. It's always a thing of like, there is no downside to being careful. It will just take you a bit longer to reach somewhere. But it's weird that people were making fun of him for that beforehand. And even then, right, they had a failure, which is sadly a risk. And I respect him immensely for that. So, yeah, it was, uh, it was not good. So if you guys could please have a sensitive, thoughtful mindset about this. If you want to leave him comments down below, mm. at some point he's, he's going to read them. So please leave him positive thoughts and inspirational messages if you'd like. And he'll read them and I'm sure he'll appreciate them. But he will, as far as I can tell, he wants to come back and talk with all of you about what happened. So just know that he is okay. He is recovering. Nobody's at fault for this. There is no negligence involved on any part of this. Adam's always made sure that things are as safe as they possibly can be. And it was just one of the factors outside of our control. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. Definition and of shit happens. We'll see yeah. you again soon. I wanted to watch this first before we watch the in-depth uh, video where they go over it, which is going to be the next one we're going to watch. Just to, just to see like how it started. Plus, they also recommended you watch this one before you watch the other one so that you get an understanding of what was going on and how it started. But it's absolutely crazy that we saw a blurred footage of the incident, right? And it's still, it's like cr just crazy seeing just how much of a blast that was. <sighs> Damn. I'm glad, however, that he he did recover and like, at least from the very little that I did see in the initial video that we watched, he looked decent. I say decent because he said it himself, right? Nerve damage takes time, sadly, to be able to tell the extent of the damage and that is... <sighs> that is such a scary fall.